about Nimagi? Plus, I'm too tired to do research. Nimagi is even the result of the city located in Wyoming towards the northwest. Nimagi used to be known as Jackson Hole, but they renamed it after the man he created out of new modern energy source, Western Nimagi. Nimagi currently has 20,000 residents. Nimagi also has many tourists come to take pictures of the natural city's beauty. Crazy thing. Oh, oh, there are cat mounds that rise above Nimagi's farmland, greenery, and lake. Nimagi is split into different zones, agriculture, industrial, residential, mixed use, and commercial. Nimagi offers numerous jobs, such as facility workers, office workers, farmers, and much more. Let's start at the residential zone. The residential zone has many apartments and homes. There are primary school and secondary school. Primary schools get tablets and computers to do their schoolwork. So, as students get older and enter secondary school, they are provided upgraded computers which have three-dimensional screens. There's also a college, but that's in the main zone. We also have a place for residents who are low income to stay and help them get back on their feet. I think it's time we move on to the main city. The main city consists of mixed use and commercial buildings. The city also supplies our citizens with schools, stores, businesses, safety departments such as polices, police departments, fire departments, and a hospital. The Amaki uses marble as our building material. Marble produces fewer carbon emissions than other building materials. It's also very durable and is fire proof. The city is open to many plants. Speaking Speaking of greenery, the greenery, the city makes profits off of trading crops and trading and tourist attractions. Oh guys, we're at the Saltistic Spoon of Sustainability, our landmark most tourists come to see. This, the Saltistic Spoon of Sustainability is a spoon filled with googly eyes. The climate is cold and has snow for most of the time. However, due to climate change, it's caught, the temperature is rising and it's causing less snow. Climate change has affected our city with droughts, wildfires, and high temperatures. This affects our city because the air affects the air quality and the risk of diseases increase. Coming up with these inventions, scientists, mechanical, electrical, environmental, civil, and chemical engineers came together and used the engineering design process. They researched ways to use to find the effects of climate change. There's Niamaki uses hydro hydroelectrical water wheels such as uh, <laughs> uses hydro hydroelectrical water wheels to power Niamaki. These Niam these these giant water wheels also help making the water clean and less polluted. These water wheels also can pick up trash to 25 tons, but there are jobs to clean the wheel. In Niamaki, there are many ways to keep of transportation to keep it clean. We use Niamaki even uses bubble cars for transportation. Bubble cars, bubble cars can provide bubble glass for seats depending on what time you get. The car also has a system where you can simply just enter your location and the car will drive its own to your location. These cars are designed so people that can't manually drive can get around with ease. These cars are connected to an electromagnetic field in the streets. A trade-off of these cars is that they may be priced to some people, but they have many benefits towards the environment. The city also uses public transportation that also uses the electromagnetic streets to move. Nimagi also has a special type of shoes that can also be used as transportation. These shoes can walk on their own. Steppers is a shoe that walks on its own feet. You can simply just put your location onto your device and you're on your way. These shoes can be used by those who have walking issues or disabilities. We also have an air purification system. The air purifier, the air purifiers, they suck up the air, they cleanse it and let it out. Niamaki also has a farming system that helps with droughts. These, these, the way these farms work is that there are specific layers on each layer is a specific crop. These buildings also have thermostats and sprinklers that can be adjusted by farmers for the specific crop and its needs. These buildings help with droughts, pests, and wildfires and other issues that may occur. Engineering design process helps them with planning, creating, testing, and improving from the effects of climate change. Diverse populations are important to the city because it offers more ideas and brings more cultures and their different traditions to the city. Um, Nima is a great town whether you're visiting it or living it. Open to all people with all ages and all backgrounds. Niamagi has innovative inventions that have made the city much more healthy and safe over time. Niamagi will continue to grow as time goes on. Niamagi is a city of the future. Let's hope it's good enough for our teachers.
I hope they enjoy our essay. Good job. Resources if your team needs to learn about engineering. Share something your team learned and how you applied it to your project. Again? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think you mentioned about engineering classes. So the question is, how? What did you? Oh, what, did you what resources did your team use to learn about engineering? So how did you know? How, like, how did you learn about the engineering design process and share something you learned about engineering, basically? All right. Um, <laughs> the engineering design process helped our team with developing these inventions to help our city with climate change. So we researched the effects of climate change and how it affected our city originally, and then we created these inventions to mainly do the aspects of how it affected our city. Yes. Um, another question. What was the challenge you encountered while building your model? And how did you overcome your challenge? So with our model, we had many disagreements. At first, we didn't want to do the upraising of our building, and we had many issues with building the wheel, um, building our farm. <laughs> and we had many disagreements on like the materials we should use, um, how, who's gonna do what. So we made a Google Draw and we made a circle map on who's gonna do what, like what buildings each person's gonna make mm -hmm. and what per each person's performance is going to be. That's a good one. Um, what resources, like, what did you use to build your buildings, basically? Uh, it was mainly just cardboard and all of, like, all the recycle stuff, and it's just basically popsicle sticks, toothpicks, bottle caps, cardboard, um, the syringes for, like, the tops of them. Like, those little, like, mm -hmm. those things? Oh, yeah. got it. <laughs> What does your city offer for entertainment and culture? Art, music, theater, dance, cinema, sports, etc. Like so this building right here that looks like a top hat has many different floors that has music, a music studio, art studio, dance studio, and a theater, movie theater. You still have many parks over here for a lot more entertainment, and you also have all the schools and churches. Yes, uh, including churches. We have many churches, including different religions and we pay attention to our city's divide, uh, diverse cultures and traditions. I have one more question. It's about the spoon. Can you re-explain yeah. what the spoon is again? <laughs> so it's, 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 it's like a good clear. I just was kind of curious about it again. They threw a curveball at us like they do for every project. And it, the curveball was that they, we had to incorporate something with, a, with googly eyes. So I was like, well, there's the world's largest spoon, so why not just add googly eyes filled with it? Um, so it's like um, a, a theme spot or something. Yeah, like our biggest tourist attractions. Oh, ah, nice. Right. Thank you guys. Okay, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job.